Snake number eight of our top 10 favorite animals here at the Serpent Center coming up. Fangs in your face. Subscribe now. What's up, Venom Squad? Hey, we are on snake number eight and day number three of our forced march to raise 10K in 10 days. And let me tell you, it's going way better than we anticipated. <laughs> oh, baby. Yes. I, I mean, Thank you so much for all the contributions. It's yeah, amazing. The contributors are coming in constantly and we are just ecstatic and and we can really use the help to get this phase one built and i'm gonna tell you we are we are so so appreciative and i we couldn't be happier and but like i said we are at 3100 dollars, and that is amazing thank you guys so much Okay, y'all, I had to send Dina around that side of the table or pull the snake out. Snake number eight of the Serpent Center's top 10 is the Puff Adder. I love Puff Adders, the biggest Arya Tans. So we're gonna get this rascal out and see if we can get him to sit still on the table. Oh, listen to that. Isn't that cool? He is huffing and- Puffing. He's huffing and puffing. That's why they call him <laughs> Puff Adder. Let's kind of set this down up there. And he is squirreling around in there. All right, buddy. I'm gonna get my hand over here. I'm gonna hang that head over the other side of the can. There we go. Okay, now that is a male puff adder. And the, we had some really big ones here. And this is a big one. This is actually a pretty good sized puff adder. And I've actually had puff adders quite a bit bigger than this one, but this one's getting there. And believe it or not, this big girl is gonna do a lot of growing still. She's gonna get bigger. <laughs> That's not a good position. <laughs> and she's really heavy. Bidis tans, and now this snake is also known to be one of the fastest striking snakes in the world. And an interesting fact about this snake is this snake is probably responsible for more bites in Africa than any other than the snake. And I, I, if, if I remember right, I think they're responsible for more deaths also, along with the soft scale viper and a few others. But this big girl here can definitely put you in the hurt locker, okay? <laughs> Especially at her size. With a highly cytotoxic venom, I mean, bites are often just horrific. I mean, massive tissue damage, and it, it's just an ugly, ugly bite. And this girl's so heavy, I'm just gonna kinda let her be on the floor here and kinda stay down here and control her. I haven't got a weight on this snake in quite a while. I'll bet you she's, she's got to be 10, 12 pounds. But she's a big girl, and puffs are usually a little bit more cranky than gaboons. Puffs can be ornery, and they can explode in a heartbeat. So that's why you always handle them with the utmost respect and care, especially one of this size. This is a pretty big one. But that is your African puff adder, your biggest argentans. And you will see that snake on exhibit at the Serpent Center. Okay, and we're going to jump over and feed a couple of puff adders. Oh, you see that right there? I call that nestling. She's nestling in for a strike. And puff adders 
exhibit this behavior when there's a food prey coming. They they know that there's that there's food coming and they're getting ready for a bang. <laughs> and she can probably smell this rat already. See that? There she goes. She's doing it again. She's got a whiff of it. And she's going to go ahead and release a strike. And I haven't even sent no vibration her way yet. So this one's going to be kind of quick and violent. Oh, 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 called that one on the money. And she is fast oh man that was crazy I knew that was coming you got to be able to read that behavior you can tell when it's going to be predatory you can tell when it's going to be defensive and that was all predatory she got the smell of that prey item a little bit of vibration and she let it rip that was awesome okay we got another very large puff at her here and she's starting to exhibit that same behavior. Now, I call it nestling because they kind of snuggle in back and forth and they kind of get themselves in the position for a strike. And we really don't know what this behavior indicates just yet. They always exhibit it right before a feed or when they know that it's food coming. And often, they'll actually lay their tongue out there and leave their tongue out there for a long period of time. I've, I've experienced that also. But we're gonna send her some vibration in. And notice that breathing is getting labored. I mean, I, I think they're building. They're building energy to their muscles for this explosive strike. And puff adders are very patient. They'll wait till that prey item damn near touches them on the nose. Oh! -ho! crazy she slid her whole body forward I actually I've got a big barrier over my hand and I'll tell you I had to, that was just my reaction to move as I seen her body coming forward I mean it's always a little bit scary even though I am 100% protected from a bite with this rig still your natural reflexes are to try to get the hell out of the way so but she's a hungry girl that was outstanding. But this one is one of the males and they don't get quite as big as the females, but this guy is gorgeous. This is a Tanzanian puff adder. He is simply gorgeous. And this is a mature male and he, he's still growing. He, he can still get a little bit bigger, but he's a proven breeder. And this guy's beautiful. Just a few interesting facts about puff adder. Now this is an African native, okay? Now this guy belongs to a family that we call the African heavyweights, the biggest the biggest Aryatans. And the venom with this guy is serious, okay? This is probably one of the most venomous vipers in Africa. It's got a high cytotoxic venom, which means it kills things on a cellular level, okay? And it's very necrotic. And, you know, the World Health Organization has, has stated that, you know, 
snake bite is 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 one of the world's leading tropical diseases and it's true you know because especially in, in africa and, and some of the other countries you know even where these snakes are from there's a shortage of antivenom there's a shortage of snake men that actually work with these animals to make the antivenom to actually uh, extract venom and and, and and it's just their healthcare system is just so lacking in some areas it's, it's just really they can't afford it and it's very remote so like there's there's an organization that I follow and, and I support the, uh, the African Snake Bite Institute maybe we can put a thing in there right Dee mm -hmm. and um, they're doing great work they're, they're they're doing handling courses they're doing training courses um, they're they're teaching a lot of the people there about the venomous animals of Africa and it's, it's an outstanding organization I recommend that you follow them and give them a like and check them out but some interesting stuff about puff adders is that why they're one of my favorites is that this animal is so prolific okay I mean large females I mean it, it, it's been recorded over a hundred babies I mean that's crazy right and this snake can do something special that a lot of other snakes can't do. It's called chemical crypsis, okay? And that means that snake can hide, mask his own scent from predators that may prey on a puff adder. Um, they've been training dogs and even little meerkats, the cute little meerkats to stand up and look around and watch things to track snakes and find snakes. And the meerkats couldn't find the puff adders, neither could the dogs. And that is so cool. I mean, that's like next level alien technology to be able to hide your scent, right? You know, and one of the reasons that that there are so many bites and so many fatalities from puff adders is that they can survive in a lot of different habitats and they're so widespread throughout its range. And they come in a bunch of different colors and, and I mean, they're really a neat snake and it's one of my favorites, but he's not a move. <laughs> Snake number eight is the puff adder, the biggest aretans. If you want to help support the Serpent Center, phase one of our build, buy a brick. $10 buys you a brick. And you'll go on the wall of fame. Um, if you want to sponsor an animal, email us. We'll give you our levels of sponsorship for an animal. And if you want to sponsor an exhibit, build emails. We'll tell you the, the whole process of it. So guys, we are 25% way through to our top 10. And we are 25% way to our 10K in 10 days. So please, everybody, contribute. Be part of the Serpent Center. And hang in there because another video tomorrow will be snake number 7. And this one will be a surprise. So if you're new to the channel, hit that V logo thing and subscribe now and come on back and check us out here at Gun Central and the Serpent Center. This is Willie. We're checking out and we'll see you tomorrow. Later.